Henry, Duke of Gloucester by Adrian Hanneman, a painting of nobility and adventure. By Adrian Hanneman, circa 1653. Henry, Duke of Gloucester, housed at the West Building, main floor, Gallery 43 of the National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C., depicts a splendid portrait of Henry, Duke of Gloucester, the third son of King Charles I and Queen Henrietta Maria of England. The painting, signed and dated by the artist, is a remarkable example of his refined and graceful style and his ability to portray the beauty and personality of his subjects. The painting shows Henry, Duke of Gloucester, wearing a golden yellow doublet brocaded with shimmering threads, possibly silver and gold, standing in front of a rocky outcropping with a narrow view into a distant landscape to our left in this vertical portrait painting. He has pale, peachy skin and copper-brown hair. His body faces our left almost in profile, and he turns his face to look at us with dark brown eyes under faint brows. He has a long, straight nose, a pointed chin, flushed cheeks, and his full, rose-pink lips are slightly parted. His dark hair falls in waves to the wide, flat, white collar at his neck. He wears a gleaming, pewter-colored breastplate with a topaz blue sash crossing his chest. The sleeves split along the inner arm to reveal a white shirt with voluminous, puffy sleeves that end with wide, transparent cuffs like floppy saucers around each wrist. Over the jacket, he wears a gleaming, pewter-colored breastplate with a topaz blue sash crossing his chest. His peanut brown pants are also sewn or woven with metallic thread in stripes down the side of the leg. The boy rests his right hand, farther from us, on a staff or walking stick propped in front of him. His other hand rests around the gold hilt of a rapier, a thin sword at his left hip, closer to us. Behind the boy, the view is almost entirely taken up with a slate grey boulder, or it could be the entrance of a cave. A view onto the landscape along the left edge of the composition has a few treetops beneath pale yellow clouds against an ice blue sky. The painting is a masterpiece of color harmony, as Hanneman concentrated the two major colors in two distinct areas, a warm yellow for Henry's doublet and pants, and a cool gray for the background. He then used the intensity of the white and blue for Henry's collar, sleeves, sash, and sky to unify the whole. The contrast between the warm and cool tones creates a visual and psychological effect, as the yellow doublet and pants suggest Henry's nobility and wealth, while the grey background implies Henry's adventurous and daring spirit. The painting is also a demonstration of light and shadow, as Hanneman illuminates the subject with a natural and radiant light that highlights his features and creates a soft, hazy look. The light also reflects off the doublet, the breastplate, the sash, the rapier, and the eyes, adding sparkle and liveliness to the composition. The painting is seen as one of Hanneman's portraits, a term that refers to paintings of individuals or groups of people, usually featuring their faces and expressions. Hanneman studied with his father, Jack Hanneman, a painter and engraver in Montpellier. He traveled to Rome, where he was influenced by the works of Nicolas Poussin and Claude Lorraine. He returned to Paris in 1643, and became a founding member of the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture in 1648. He worked for several patrons, including Queen Christina of Sweden, who invited him to Stockholm in 1652. He painted several portraits of the Queen and her court, including Henry, Duke of Gloucester, who was staying with his sister, Maria Stuart, and her husband, Willem II, Prince of Orange, in The Hague. The painting may also have a symbolic meaning, as the portrait of Henry, Duke of Gloucester is one of the most famous examples of the theme of nobility and adventure in art. Henry, Duke of Gloucester was born in 1640, and he was the youngest son of King Charles I and Queen Henrietta Maria. He was a loyal supporter of his father during the English Civil War, and he was captured and imprisoned by the parliamentarians in 1646. He was released in 1652, and he joined his sister and brother-in-law in The Hague, where he was well received by the Dutch and exiled English aristocracy. He was also invested as a knight in the Order of the Garter in 1653, and that festive occasion likely led to the commission of this portrait by Hanneman. 
The painting captures Henry's charm and personality, as he looks at us with a confident and playful gaze, revealing his intelligence, courage, and curiosity. The painting was part of the collection of Maria Stuart, who acquired it in 1653. It was among the paintings that she took with her when she moved to England in 1660, after the restoration of the monarchy. She later gave it to her brother, Charles II, who hung it in his private apartments at Whitehall Palace. The painting passed through several owners, until it was purchased by the Samuel H. Cress Foundation in 1947. The foundation donated it to the National Gallery of Art in 1952.